बेसिक थ्योरी ऑफ अ ट्रेन क्रॉसिंग अ पोल और ए वॉकिंग मैन विद द वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल्स दीज थिंग्स आर फेयरली कॉमन एंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एस्पायरेंट नोज दीज बट वट आई ट्राई इज आई ट्राई टू पुट दैम इन सिंपल इन ए सिंपल वे सो दैट एनी बडी हु डजेंट हैव ए गुड नॉलेज ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स कैन अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस थिंग बेसिक थ्योरी ऑफ अ ट्रेन क्रॉसिंग अ पोल लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पोल ना सपोज दिस इज अ फिक्सड पोल अलॉन्ग अ रेलवे ट्रैक एंड अ ट्रेन इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड इट्स हेड हैज जस्ट टचड दिस पोल दिस इज वन सिचुएशन आई राइट पोल हेयर एंड दिस इज द ट्रेन एंड लेट इट्स लेंथ बी एल एंड द स्पीड विद विच इट इज मूविंग इज वी the units can be taken as v meters per second and this length is in meters so with this we have a situation where a train is traveling towards the right side and it has just touched the pole basically we can say the head of the train has just touched the pole this is the situation 1 what happens after some time is that the pole is here and this is the line which i am drawing and the train is at a position somewhere like this the head is at this position this is the pole and the train is running at v meters per second uniformly it is moving and the length of the train is l but it has already covered some distance past the train past the pole this is scene 2 and finally in the third scene we will have a story like this this is the pole and the train will be in a this position the head will be here and this length will be l now when it was in position 2 some distance was covered and finally this distance x has to increase to l then we will say that the train has crossed the pole so from a practical point of view the train will be said to have crossed the pole when the head of the train is at a distance l from the pole or the head has gained a lead over the pole by a distance of l meters in day to day language we will say that this head is at l meters away from the pole when we will say that the train has crossed the pole we have to now find out the time in which the head of the train will be at a distance of l from the pole now we know that the entire train as well as the head they are traveling at v meters per second so we have to basically find and in how much time will this distance l be covered by the head we can write v meters are covered in 1 second because the speed is v meters per second on similar lines we'll have 1 meter is covered in 1 by v seconds and this l will be covered in how much time l will be covered in l by v seconds so this is the answer for this this is the formula for this we have derived this formula from the first principles or from zero level we have actually seen what is exactly happening what is the physical thing that is happening in this now usually this formula could have been derived by using the speed time and distance relationship also that also i'll write the speed in this case is v the length has to be covered is l and the time is t and from the speed distance formula we know that speed is distance upon time which very straight way gives time as l over v because t moves to that side v comes down so we will say time is l by v seconds one and the same thing but this one has been derived on the basis of first principles on the basis of basics 
This is very important if your fundamentals have to be cleared. So we have taken how the head of the train will be moving, will be gaining L meters, moving ahead L meters of the pole and we just calculate this, this, this time taken to cover this L. Now let us take another example of a train crossing a walking man. In that case, this pole will be walking towards the right side at a certain speed. We will calculate how much time will the same train take to move past that man who is walking towards the right side. Let us draw the three scenarios in this case. This is the man who is traveling at u meters per second towards the right side. This is a train of length L moving at v meters per second. This train has just coincided, touched this man and man is also traveling towards the right. The train is also traveling. We have to find out the time taken by the train to move past this man. Now this looks a bit complicated. Okay, if this is scene 1, let us think logically, let us see the physical thing that is going on here. After some time what will happen? This man will be moved, will have moved to this position. Let us say this was the starting position. So man has moved to this position and the train will probably have reached somewhere in between. So we'll draw a straight line. After some time, although initially the man was here, the man has also covered some distance towards the right side and the train is already moving towards the right side. After some time, this will be the story. Basically, this head will be some distance past the man even though the man is also moving and the train is also moving. Let us try to have a rough idea of this distance. What could the gain of the head be with respect to the man? We know that the head is moving at v meters per second towards the right side. So let us take in one second what happens. In one second, the, the train will have moved towards the right side by v meters. And in one second, the man has also moved towards the right. He has moved u meters. So what is the net gain? What is the net distance covered by the train? Had this man not been moving, the net distance would have been v meters in one second. But now the man has also spoiled the train's journey. The man has also negated. So what is the negation? The negation will be subtract the distance covered by the man u meters. So this means the train is covering a net distance of v minus u in one second. In one second, the net coverage of the train is v minus u meters towards the right side. And this train finally, in scenario 3, the scene will be like this. That even though the man is also moving, the train is also moving, but the head of the train has got L meters gain over the man. So V minus U are gained in one second. One is gained in one by V minus U seconds. And L meters will be gained in L by V minus U seconds. So this is the time in which the train will overtake the man. The formula therefore is L divided by V minus U. This is the formula for the time taken by the train to cover a man who is also moving but at a speed of u meters per second and the train is moving at v meters per second. Here I want to push a small concept also. The concept is of relative speed. Relative speed is defined as the difference of the speeds between two objects if two objects are moving in the same direction. This is the relative speed. Suppose one object is moving at u meters per second towards the right side. 
and other object is moving at v meters per second to the right side then the speed at which they move relative this the relative speed of this with respect to that will be v minus u the difference of speeds and what is the relative speed of this object with respect to earth the earth it is moving at a speed of v meters per second but when some object is moving then the speed with respect to that object the relative speed with respect to that object is v minus u when we have given when we are given speeds of two objects for example a bicyclist is moving towards the right or whatever those speeds are always given with respect to the earth but when we calculate the speed of one with respect to other object then that speed is called the relative speed of this object with respect to that object and it is the difference so in this case in this formula we could have equally written here l over relative speed so this is also some people write it like this and this is also very useful now if you see this formula and you compare the case of the pole which i already discussed then this is a more universal formula the relative speed of the train with respect to a standing pole will be v only because pole is not moving it is fixed to the earth so relative speed with respect to the pole will be the same as the relative speed with respect to earth so in that case if you remember we derived the formula as l by v so this is a more general form the time taken by a train to move past an object that is moving at a relative speed is the distance is length of the train divided by the relative speed i want to repeat this let me repeat it once again so that those who are not very clear will get clear about it suppose this is one object this object is moving towards the right at a speed of u meters per second and here is another object which is moving towards the right at v meters per second then the relative speed of this second object with respect to the first will be v minus u and if there is a standing object then the relative speed of this object v meters per second with respect to a standing object on the earth will be same as the relative speed of this moving object with respect to earth which is v meters per second so repeating the formula for the time taken by a train to cover to move past a point the point could be a pole or a moving man who is moving with respect to earth at a speed of u meters per second and this train is moving at v meters per second then the time taken will be the length of the train by the relative speed of the train with respect to the object the relative speed with respect to the moving man is going to be v minus u the relative speed with respect to a stationary pole will be l by v and in case the man is moving in the opposite direction and the train is moving in this direction the relative speed becomes the sum of the two speeds then the formula will be l by v plus u let me test your understanding a bit see this one see a situation where this is a train moving towards the right and a man is sitting inside the train this train is moving towards the right at 10 kilometers per hour and a man is sitting inside the train now what is the relative speed of the man with respect to the train what is the relative speed of this man with respect to the train how do we know the man is sitting in the train the speed of the man with respect to the train will be zero the speed of this man with respect to earth will be 10 because he is moving with the train so he is moving at a relative speed of 10 kilometers per hour with respect to the ground take another example suppose this is a man this is a train that is traveling at 10 kilometers per hour 
and a man is walking inside the train at 2 km per hour the man is walking towards the right side what is the relative speed of the man with respect to the train we know that man is sitting in the train so he is walking at 2 km per hour with respect to the train the relative speed of man with respect to the train will be 2 km per hour even though the train itself is moving at 10 km per hour this speed of the train is given with respect to the ground this speed is given with respect to the train now at what speed is this man moving with respect to the ground in that case the speed of the train is already 10 to that he is he is moving on the train so the relative speed with respect to the ground for this man is going to be 10 plus 2 equal to 12 km per hr this idea is very important so let us take another example of relative speed suppose this is a train which is moving at 10 km per hr and this train has a man who is walking towards the right at 2 km per hr the same story that i wrote on this here but now this time what we have to do is we have another train that is moving towards the right at 20 km per hr now if somebody asks us how much time will this second train take to move past this man how much time will this second train take to cover this to move past this man who is already moving inside the second train so in such case the length of the train let us for simplicity take the length of the second train be tell me 10 meters we already know from the previous discussion that the time is distance that is the length of the train divided by the relative speed of this train with respect to the point that we are discussing now what is the relative speed of this point with respect to the second train the relative speed will be let us calculate it we know that this point is moving at 12 km per hour with respect to the ground as we saw here now the second train is moving at 20 km per hour with respect to the ground so what is the relative speed of this train with respect to the man who is moving at 12 km per hour the relative speed is 8 km per hour so in this case the time taken would be the length of the train by 8 km per hour appropriate conversions will have to be done meters per second and all that i am not doing right now so this is how you can take even very tough questions this is an extension of the theory that i have already described for a train that is going to move past a single point now whatever be the situation of that point whether it is standing in the form of a pole whether it is walking in the form of a man or whether it is walking in the form of a man like in a moving train the story remains the same it is the length of the train divided by the speed of that train with respect to that man so this is what is the whole fundamental now let me take a few simple examples to illustrate these concepts let us take them a train crosses a tree in 10 seconds if the length of the train is 150 find the speed of the train so let us first of all draw an indicative diagram a train crosses a tree so this is a tree which is standing as we know trees are fixed to the ground now the length of the train has been given to be 150 meters to us find the speed of the train the time taken has already been given to us as 10 now we can write the formula the time taken is equal to the length of the train divided by the relative speed of the train with respect to the object with which we are taking the tree is fixed the speed of the train with respect to the object we can take it as v which we have to find the unknown so time the relative speed will be the same as the speed of the train because the tree is fixed so it will be l by v which implies time has already been given to us as 10 10 is equal to 150 meters the length of the train by velocity the speed with which we require to find out so this is simple mathematics take v to the other side 
it is 150 divided by this 10 will come down so the speed will be 15 meters per second so it was a simple usage of that concept that the time taken by a train to move past a standing point is equal to the length of the train divided by the relative speed let us move to our next example A train crosses a man coming from the opposite direction in so much seconds. If the speed of the man be this and the speed of the train be this, find the length of the train. Let us draw a schematic. This is a man who is coming from the right side. He is traveling at a speed of 10 meters per second. And there is a train that is moving towards the right side at 20 meters per second. We have to find out the length of the train, let the length be L. Now we know that the time taken by this train to cross this man will be what? Time will be the length of the train divided by the relative speed. Now what is the relative speed of train with respect to that man? It's very easy. It is equal to the length of the train divided by 20 plus 10 they are moving in opposite direction the relative speed will be 20 plus 10 which is equal to L by 30 and what is the time has already been given as 7.5 so we can write 7.5 is equal to L divided by 30 which implies length is equal to 30 take to the other side 30 multiplied by 7.5 so whatever it is that is going to be the answer for this question. We'll take even more complicated questions in coming lectures. Thank you.